Hi, I'm Sandy Fox, and I'm a voice actor from Los Angeles, and I've been working in the industry over 30 years. Uh, some of the characters you might know me as would be Chibi Yusa and Black Lady and Sailor Moon, Betty Boop, Hello Kitty, um, Roar and Miraculous Ladybug, and I love uh, voicing Japanese anime. I've done that. Some of the the old anime might be Tachikomas and um, Ghost in the Shell. Can you tell us the story of how you got into the voice acting industry? Yes, um, I always had a passion for performing. Uh, from the moment I stepped on the stage in my first musical in high school, which was Godspell, it just, you know, um, I just came to life. I just loved it so much. So I started performing musicals in high school. On my summers off, I worked in theme parks, uh, Kennywood Theme Park in Pittsburgh. And then I went on to work for the Walt Disney World Company in Orlando, Florida, performing in live stage shows. And I was always working with those famous, legendary Disney characters around me in shows. And um, I also sang with a 1920s jazz orchestra where I sang all the songs of Betty Boop and the Betty Boop era in the 1920s and 30s. So um, I think all of those influences mixed together, I had the opportunity to take a voice acting workshop with a woman um, named Sue Blue, a, an actor and director. And I just fell in love and I said, wow, I really want to do this. And um, so that's what really inspired me. And it was her passion for what she did that inspired me as well. Do you have a favorite fan interaction? Oh, there's so many incredible fan interactions. Um, I've had a lot of people come up and say how they suffered with depression or anxiety and that my character, Black Lady in Sailor Moon, when she kind of goes into that dark night of the soul and then she's able to feel all the love and appreciation around her and come out of that that space. And so many, many um, fans have come up and, and you know, at Comic Cons and Anime Cons and just shared how they have gone to those dark places and that was my character and her transformation back into Chibi Moon and realizing there's so much good around her and so much love around her that really helped them. What's your favorite memory from your work? Uh, favorite memory from a piece of work I have done? Hmm. Yeah, let's see. There's so many. There's so many. I mean, not only in the studio, um, one of my first commercials, um, it was a voiceover commercial that um, I worked with Lorenzo Music, the voice of Garfield the Cat, and also Marvin Kaplan. And so that was one of my first, you know, uh, commercials that I booked. It was a White Castle hamburger commercial when I moved to LA. Um, working on The Simpsons, that was like new for me. I had moved to LA and I got cast in the, um, you know, doing all the extra voices on The Simpsons. And so just going in the studio and being able to be a part of such an iconic show. What role were you most excited about getting to play? I have to say it's Betty Boop because I used to sing the songs of Betty Boop. There was a point where I was asked to dress like Betty Boop and I created the first living Betty Boop for Universal Studios in um, Hollywood. But when they um, needed more Betty Boop for like commercials. And so um, I did a Lancome uh, mascara commercial, a Lancome called Star Eyes. And um, so just being able to get that call for Betty Boop and bring her to life. I did a Doc Martens shoe commercial, a Zach Posen commercial, and then some Betty Boop toys. So I have to say Betty Boop because she is the queen of cartoons and she's so iconic and so loved all over the world. What is your dream role and why? You know, I feel like I'm I'm living that dream, being able to do what I love, and um, I'd love to be in a Disney, like a Disney feature, like a that would be really exciting, or a creature, or something really cute, and a Star Wars, you know, like a Baby Yoda kind of voice, you know, something like that. How did you prepare for your most challenging role, and what did you learn from it? 
Um, I think preparation is really important. Um, a lot of times in anime, we don't get to see the script beforehand. We often are walking into a cold reading or a script we've never seen before. So I think mentally preparing yourself uh, when you're getting ready for your day, just, you know, um, I like to meditate. Um, I think meditation is, is very grounding and centering. And um, yeah, so I think when you're mentally and emotionally uh, prepared, it's like, you know, you can uh, be ready for anything. If you had to restart your voice acting career today, yes. what would be the first thing you'd do? Well, I'd start my social media networks a lot sooner. You know, when I started voicing characters over 30 years ago, we didn't have the internet. So we didn't have this beautiful technology where you could reach fans and casting directors and people all over the world. So I definitely would get a, a good head start on social media. If you could go back to the start of your career and give yourself one piece of advice, what would that be? One piece of advice? Wow. Um, I would just say step into that yes. You know, say yes more than you say no. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be so hard on yourself or think you're not good enough to ask for what you need or what you desire. Um, and to realize that nobody is you. So I wish somebody would have said, you know, don't worry about trying, you know, what other people think or what you're trying to um, do, but just be yourself and really um, center into yourself and then share that. Hi, my name's Sandy Fox. Please follow me at Sandy Fox World on Twitter and Instagram or Sandy Fox VO on Facebook or check out my YouTube channel, Sandy Fox. Thanks everybody.